this next segment, we're going to highlight a concept known uh, within the trade as an eddy current break. This demonstration I've got set up is we're going to use a squirrel cage induction motor. I have an inertia wheel tied onto it to demonstrate that when we have built up inertia, a motor will take an awful long time to coast to a stop. The eddy current brake, what we're going to do is we're going to run DC current through to the windings in the stator and we're going to create a DC magnetic field that will interact with the rotor of the machine to bring it to a very, very quick stop. Now, this is an example of the circuit on page 25-2, where you can plainly see we're going to run DC current through and bring it to a quick stop. Now, this requires two contactors. One uh, would be used at, in its normal uh, procedure. We have a push button and we have a second contactor because of the fact we've got to isolate the power supply and run DC current. And so we have an electrical interlock also. So first things first, I'm going to run the machine. We're going to turn it off and we're going to time how long it takes it to coast to a stop. We're going to repeat the process but using the eddy current brake and we'll look at the difference in between. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button and we're going to see once I turn it off, how long is it going to take for it to coast? So what we can see is with the inertial wheel, there's so much built up momentum in this machine that it's going to take a progressively long time for it to come to a stop. I've seen motors run like this for almost 90 seconds, if not a bit longer. So it ran an almost in excess of two minutes and 30 seconds. And for the sake of expediency, we really wanted to showcase what the eddy current brake can do. So we're going to repeat this. But now I've actually got the DC current. We're going to start it up again. We're going to stop it. But I'm going to turn on the timer once I activate the DC or eddy current brake. So we'll start it again. I'm at full speed. I'm going to activate the, deep, the eddy current brake. So I take that at about seven seconds. Now I could probably increase or decrease the amount of time by uh, decreasing the amount of resistance. Currently we have 20 ohms in the circuit. If I was to take some of that resistance down, I'd have a stronger magnetic field internally and I could decrease the amount of time it would take for it to come to a full stop. And we're going to proceed and do that right now. So I'm going to have a stronger magnetic field. We're going to start it up again. And we're going to initiate the brake. I took that at about four seconds before I saw a complete stop of rotation. So we can see that the deceleration time is directly proportional to the amount of resistance in the circuit. We didn't want to put the full value of DC current. Uh, we would probably see breakers tripping. So you needed a bit of resistance. But there is a fine line between the strength of the magnetic field and the amount of resistance in that circuit. And that is the effectiveness of an eddy current break. So we're intentionally taking DC current and we're running it into the stator of a three-phase AC machine with the goal of bringing it to a quick and controlled stop.